Hello guys, I am Mayu Khajra, final year MBBS student at Medical College, Kolkata. So recently in my third prof part one exam, I got uh, grand honors, that is a distinction or honors in all the th three subjects of third prof part one, namely I, ENT and community medicine. That is uh, above 75% marks, that is called the honors marks or the distinction marks as said in the uh, Delhi universities. So some of you asked me to make a video on uh, how to get honors in the uh, professional exam. So here it goes. So actually getting honors, it depends on two factors. Actually 70% is in your hand and 30% depends on luck. 70% is in your hand means the content you put in the answer script and also the viva you deliver in the time of exam. But uh, the rest 30% as I have said that it depends on luck. It does not depend on your performance uh, because uh, there are many factors that determine your numbering like uh, the college you belong and uh, uh, the examiner uh, who is checking your answer script, the answer script preceding and succeeding your answer sheet and in the viva it mostly depends on the examiner what kind of examiner you are facing is it a good examiner or a bad examiner. So. Uh, I can't uh, help in that and moreover the fact that the preparation uh, you are giving the content the preparation also I can't help in that because you have to do that yourself so I would be telling you how should be the representation to attract the examiner and give some more extra marks maybe two or five more extra marks from others so here it goes so hey guys if you are new to my channel so consider subscribing because i make videos on medical uh, related stuff and some of my personal vlogs so before starting the representation pack i would uh, uh, like to inform you that uh, there are many informations you need to fill up in that uh, in that answer sheet so the time they give you for filling up the relevant information before starting the exam you have to Go thorough with that and do not make any mistake in that uh, especially the roll number date and the subject so uh, take an high uh, i mean uh, take a whitener with you because if you make mistake you can rectify with that so let's come into the representation part uh, how you should represent in your uh, copy to make it more attractive and uh, make examiner uh, give you extra two or three marks in your exams so First of all is uh, follow the sequence of the question uh, because if you follow the sequence of the question like uh, the long question and the short questions and uh, explain why then the MCQs so it gives a good impression because uh, the examiner sees the question paper and goes to via that sequence only so it is a pretty easy task for him. Now the second point is divide answer on various heads. So what I'm uh, going to say that you have to divide the answer into various sets. Like I give you an example. Uh, in case of Turner's syndrome that is asked in anatomy. So Turner's syndrome, the question is asked, you define what is Turner's syndrome definition. After that is the karyotype, number of bar bodies, the clinical manifestations, the diagnosis that is by karyotyping. So uh, like this, you divide your answer into various sets. So it uh, makes your representation much better. Then after that is more diagrams because the more you give diagrams, the more you will get marks and for anatomy it is the rule. Uh, schematic diagrams are allowed like that of brain. If I do like this, like this, it is a schematic diagram. So schematic diagram is okay. And for histology, I have marked it with red because uh, you need to bring the color pencils for histology diagram. You have general histology and systemic histology in your part. So bring the color pencils with you in the exam hall. After that is uh, answer point wise means you are if there are uh, in an answer there are many points like uh, I give you an example uh, in explain why if there are many more points like why left sided uh, left uh, left testicular varicocele is more common than the right one. So you have to uh, give point wise answer because it has uh, five to six points and you have to give a diagram I give you the example like you have to draw this diagram renal vein and superior uh, suprarenal vein and here is the left testicular vein so why the left side is varicocele is more common because it uh, directly goes vertically so the back pressure in the venous pressure is more 
and it uh, joins the renal vein there is no angulation so due to back pressure the varicose is more common moreover the blood flow are in opposite direction so also it's more common and from the left suprarenal vein there comes the adrenaline which causes vasoconstriction in the left renal vein so varicose is more common moreover the sigmoid colon passes through the left renal renal vein so it compresses and can cause more chances of varicose in cases of renal carcinoma it can involve the renal vein in the in case of stage 3 so it can also cause left uh, varicose so it is much more common the left size it is much more common and if question on varicose comes then you have to say that uh, how to diagnose also it is a clinical diagnosis bag of bones and also the doppler doppler ultrasound is the uh, investigation of choice because it uh, says the direction of uh, blood flow after that is uh, answer point wise i have said uh, more flow charts more flow charts means in case you are not able to write in points there is always an option that don't write in paragraphs and answer in flow charts like in case of the coagulation pathway as you know i give you the example of coagulation pathway you can answer it in uh, in flow chart then margin on two sides i think <laughs> everyone knows this from the because you all have given HS exams, CVSC exams, but uh, after practicing MCQs, you have <laughs> given up the habit of writing. So <laughs> I mentioned it also that two sides you have to give margin. Use multicolor. I say it. It is an important because it highlights your answer. Because if you give the heading with black, black color is more prominent. So give the headings with black, blue for general statement. I use pink for important points, but pink is slightly means uh, it mixes with the blues like uh, a bit so you can use yellow also but never use red and green because they are used for checking okay uh, never use them and uh, underline to highlight the important points because uh, as you know you can't use a highlighter so you need to underline the points you want to highlight okay so while writing a statement if you think that uh, the point is important like in case of Turner syndrome the karyotype is important and the number of bar bodies is important so just underline there 45 xo just underline there so that attention of the examiner goes straight into into this and so it's for today i think i have summarized all the points and uh, if you want to contact me you can follow my insta handle given in the description below you can message me there for any doubts thank you